Hey, good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God. Thank God the word works. And I can go to God with confidence, knowing that he hears my prayers and knowing that if he hears my prayers, he answers my prayers the way that I pray them. I heard this guy at a church meeting years ago make a statement. Well, you know, you go to God and you ask him for something and he looks down there and sees that you need something else. Well, he might just give you that something else. Uh, eh, wrong answer. The word says that if you delight yourself in the Lord, God will grant you the desires of your heart, not give you something else. I mean, you know, you, you teach a child that and he'd just soon not ever pray than to believe God just going to give him whatever he needs out there. Let's go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. Shows us to pray in confidence that when God hears, he answers. And this is the confidence, 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Confidence in him. Now, not confidence in prayer, but confidence in Jesus himself. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything, watch that, anything according to his will, he heareth us. Well, somebody says, I don't know the will of God. Excuse me. Right there it is. Go read your Bible, find the will of God. You'll find out, for instance, Jesus never made anybody sick because how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power and the Holy Ghost, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. So healing is from God, and God never told anybody to stay sick for his glory. He healed them, every one. And somebody says, yeah, but, you know, I know this person that was sick, and, and God used him greatly. I didn't say God can't use that, but I'm saying God didn't do it, but he'll get glory out of it one way or the other because God's God. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if I ask anything, new tires, oh yeah, because I have to have tires on my car to drive. Uh, <clears throat> healing for my body, oh yeah, enough money to pay my bills. I have to have a home to live in, and I've got a very nice home here, and it's paid in, uh, almost in full, and I believe I'm going to pay it off before the year's out, but I have to have this. I have to have electricity. Now, I'm not sure, uh, you know, how long it's going to stay on. It's thundering and lightning out there, but I need electricity to heat or cool my house and cook my food and those kind of things. Those are things that we just have to have. It takes money to do that, and so I have to have money. So, Lord, I need an extra to $300 to pay my electric bill or whatever. That's the will of God. Now, <clears throat> look at this. And if we know that he hears us, wow, if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask. Now notice, it te keys in on whatsoever we ask, not the will of God. The will of God is what things wherever you desire, Mark eleven twenty four. 24. We talked about that yesterday. <clears throat> what things wherever you desire. When I'm praying for a new car, I, even, I, I, I tell God the color that I want. I tell God the brand that I want. I tell God even the color of the interior. And one time, uh, they didn't even make that color interior in a car that I wanted. And a couple of weeks later, I found one in the want ads of the paper. So it's been, you know, 15 years ago or so. And this guy had had it special made. And he said, you know, it's not like everybody else's, so you might want it. I said, oh, no, no, no. You had that special made for me, and I'll be there tomorrow, you know, with the money to pay for that thing. And I went and got it exactly like the one that I wanted. Now, watch this. We know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So let me read the whole thing together. This is the confidence, the privilege of boldness that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, which we find in the word, we know that he hears us. He listens to and hears our prayers, and he wants your prayers answered more than you want them answered. I added that. Let me read on here. And if, since we know, and if we know that he hears us, then we also know that he gives it to us. I love what the Amplified Version says. It says, and since we positively know that he hears us, then we know that it is granted to us as our present possession, the request that we've made of him. Now, I read this to you yesterday, Philippians 4, 6, let your request, your desire, uh, I get in trouble when I use this term, but you're making a demand on God's power 
the woman with the issue of blood said, when I touch but the hem of his garment, she made a demand on his power. And he said, woman, thy faith hath made thee whole. Blind Bartimaeus cried the louder. He made a demand on God. And Jesus stood still and said, and what do you want? He made a demand on that. And some people get upset with that. The power of God's controlled by what you ask and what you pull on the demand. Jesus said to that woman, he felt virtue go out of him, but he didn't say my power and my virtue has made you whole. He said, thy faith has made you whole. So you make a pull on the power of God or you make a demand on God's doing something for you by asking in faith and God will do that. This is the confidence I can go to God and ask God for anything I want, and I have confidence in the fact that he will do it because he said so. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. People believe all kinds of crazy things, and you come along and teach the word, and they say, you're crazy. Yeah, but I'm, I'm screwed on to the right nut. I mean, the right boat. I may be a nut, but I'm screwed on to that boat of Jesus, and I have it my way, which is God's way. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, hey, go to God. Ask God. He's privileged to do it for you. And remember all day, Jesus is Lord. And as always, thank God the word works.